What is up, my friends? Yes, it is time for another Snap Shwasty. I know I just did one last week, so I should, like, wait a couple months before doing another one. But I figured, why not? Uh, I need a drink. I spent the day being incredibly lazy, gauging by my hair, because I've basically just been doing fucking nothing. So, this is fun. I'm trying to wake up now. Let's do this. We got this. In today's episode, we will be drinking Patty's Irish Whiskey. It should be indicative of the show that you're watching that I'm introducing the alcohol that I'm consuming before the actual meal that I'm going to be making. So, uh, burgers. Inspired by one of my Dutch friends who wants nothing more in this world than a Baconator, I'm going to be making a bacon cheeseburger. I'm going to show you a little a few of my tips and tricks along the way, such as... I'm going to show you how to cook the bacon. I'm going to show you uh, what kind of meat that I use and how I season it. I'm going to show you how to cook it. I'm going to show you how to assemble it. And there's going to be a burger sauce involved. So welcome on in to Snap Schwasty. If I had a theme song yet, this is where I'd put it on YouTube when I upload it. By the way, last one didn't upload. Anyway, he's fuck gonna it. make you something tasty. It's time for snatch wasting. We're gonna start by prepping the meat that's gonna be our burger patty. So get out some ground beef. Now the trick is to get some pretty fatty ground beef. You want at least like an 80-20 split, lean to fat. Which that's gonna be pretty easy if you're making your own ground beef. If not, uh, when you get something, if it's too lean, what you can also do is ground up bacon and throw it in the mix and just kind of. I won't need to do that though. So there is your ground beef. Uh, you can tell just kind of how light it is, the amount of fat content that's in there. That's gonna be good for a burger. Maybe not good for other things, but it is good for a burger. So this is what I'm gonna put in my burger for seasoning. Flip the camera. So here's the burger. We're gonna obviously put some salt. Uh, we are also gonna do some Mexican oregano. Smoked paprika, a little bit of thyme for earthiness, a little bit of cumin, some ground mustard, garlic powder, garlic pepper, cayenne pepper, and then liquid smoke. Let me talk about this. Liquid smoke is an amazing invention for people like me who don't have the ability to actually smoke their meats because this actually imparts a nice smoky flavor into whatever you're cooking as long as you do it with a very minimalistic touch. So there are a couple different kinds of smokiness. The one that I'm using is going to be mesquite, but there's also hickory as well. If you don't know which one to choose, think mesquite as the actual like cat, like the, the wood fire that you smell around a campfire. That is mesquite. Hickory is more the kind of flavor that you get out of a barbecue sauce. Those are the kind of two difference. Mesquite. So I hate to distract from the situation, but look at these fucking grays! Holy shit! This is what working with fuckface does to you, I swear to God. So I kind of tried to do a little bit of a rainbow to show you the, uh, the seasonings that I'm putting in. Uh, I'm not overdoing any one thing, I kind of want them all to be equal. But, one more thing. Get a little bit of liquid smoke. When I say a little bit, I mean literally watch this. Ready? That's enough. So here we got this wonderful array right here, but there's one ingredient missing. It's not for flavor, it's to hold it together. Do you know what it is? Egg. Alright, see all this nonsense? Use your hand. Don't be afraid. Mix it up. Just churn and burn, baby. There you go. Now, just like Rick Ocasek, this is all mixed up. If anyone gets that, please let me know. Very important part. Don't refrigerate this. I mean, if, if you're making this meat and you're saving it for later, like you're going to make a patty tomorrow, go to refrigerate it. But if you're cooking in the next two hours, do not refrigerate. When you try to take cold meat and put it on a barbecue or any kind of sizzling skillet surface, you're going to make sure that it's going to be room temperature. Otherwise, you're going to leave the middle kind of raw and the outside is going to be charred. And I don't mean that in like the good way where it's like, ooh, nice and pink in the middle. It's like, oh my God, this is kind of like weirdly raw. You want it to cook all the way through, but you can still leave it a little pink. So next up, while we're kind of waiting for this to come back down to room temperature, because I've been refrigerating this for quite some time, let's go ahead and make our burger sauce, shall we? Now, the idea of the burger sauce is to re-accentuate all the flavors that we put inside the burger already. Or you could also make it completely contrasting. So, like, if you have a smoky burger, make a tangy sauce. I'm going to enhance it. So, first off, get out a food processor, and the first two ingredients that we're going to put in there are a little bit weird, but fucking trust me on this, even if you don't like one of them. Ingredient number one, pickles. I hate pickles. Just take, like one or two little wedges and throw it in there. Next up, garlic. I'm gonna take just a little, little bit of this uh, clove right here and peel it and then just throw it in there. That is a badass clove right there. That, I mean, that was one. Um, you can use the whole thing. I think I might just use half of it. All right, see? It's not that much. Next up, egg yolk only. 
All right, see that? Okay. Put the lid back on. Do your thing, daddy -o. Look at that. All right, next up we're going to add a little bit of neutrally flavored oil. This is grapeseed oil that I took the label off of because it was bothering me, but a little bit of grapeseed oil. Add a little salt. Add a little pepper. Okay, and next up... Ba -ba 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 -ba, where did it go? Ah, shit. Hold fuck did it go? Ah, there it is. Grey Poupon Mustard. We're gonna take ourselves just a little schlackadilly of that and add to the fun. Here's where it gets weird. But I'm gonna ask that you trust me. We're gonna add some tomato paste. I know, I know, I know. It don't be much. Whoop, look at that. That is plenty a little bit more. Then we're gonna add just a little flippity brown sugar. Just a little bit. Just enough to say hi. Hello. There you have it. See? Look at that. It's kinda got that nice orangey texture that you're probably used to seeing in restaurants whenever you get like a burger sauce with it. There are two optional things you can do here. One, add a little bit of apple cider vinegar, just a little bit of taste. It'll bring out a little bit more tang, so you can kind of really taste that it's there right in the back of the cheeks. Or you can add a little bit more liquid smoke. I'm going to do both. No, baby, I promise I'd never hurt you. But you know what I just tricked you into doing with this? You basically just made your own mayonnaise with the egg yolk and the, um, oh, I forgot lemon juice. Either way, with the egg yolk and the oil, you basically made your own mayo. You added a little bit of mustard, and then you also added tomato paste. And brown sugar, making kind of like a ketchup, and the brown sugar actually adds to like a barbecue sauce feeling. So you're putting at least three or four different usual table condiments into this sauce, but you're making your own. And it feels better to do it that way, doesn't it? Burger. Sauce. Let's go, pre uh, let's go preheat our grill. A clean grill is a happy grill. An unclean grill catches fire. Whoops. So while we're waiting for the grill to extinguish itself, we're going to get ourselves a little bit of a tin filled with mesquite chips because I don't, I can't have a smoker here. Apparently uh, at this apartment complex you can have nothing that produces smoke. So we're going to do that, but we're also going to top it with a little something too to impart a little bit more flavor. Over top of this, to prevent this from actually charring a whole lot, we're going to add just a little bit of rum, but that's also going to add just a little bit of sweetness to it. Not much, just enough to say hello. I really wish I could say I was an authority on this matter because this is the first time I've ever had to use this. Usually I just go over to my parents' house and use their Traeger. Either way, so we're going to take this and we're going to nestle this right down here. So it sits right there, and then we're going to put the grill over top of that. So look at that, look at that. You can kind of see through the grate right there, and then Boschke, we're going to have a source of smoke. So we're going to go ahead and ignite, but we're going to turn it down. On the other side, however, we're going to go, come on, you got this. There we go. Full bore. Close it down, heat it up. How does one cook bacon? It's literally in the name. You bake it. Trust me on this one. Set your fucking thing to 400 degrees. Let it preheat. Get yourself out a thing, but we're also going to foil line it too, because this thing is nasty. And just, just foil line it, trust me on that. Now that it's nice and foil lined, let's go ahead and get out your bacon. My personal preference for bacon was I got this uncured peppercorn bacon. Which, uh, it actually came in a smaller package, which is good because I can never find myself, uh, I, I can never finish a whole entire thing of bacon because I feel guilty about it. Um, but yeah, so we're going to put that on the thing. Got all my ducks in a row here. Or, ra or rather, actually, I guess pigs at this point in time. So you can add whatever kind of flavor that you want to this bacon. Uh, a lot of people like a little bit of maple or sugar to it. That's not my style. Uh, I already have enough smoke in this burger, so instead what I'm going to do, I'm going to kiss it with a little bit of spicy Cajun seasoning. I know, it's, I know it's backwards since this is front-facing camera, but this is the uh, King of Cajun Ken Pepper Cream Sauce. It's fucking good. I'm going to pour a little bit of this on my bacon. So I came out here to check on my grill and clean it off a little bit, and I don't know if you can see, but the pellets are starting to try and catch fire, which is something we're trying to actively avoid. So I'm going to move that. That's actually kind of the fun part of not, not knowing what you're doing all the time and just kind of guessing is sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong, and sometimes you might invent something that no one else had thought of before. I was wrong, though. Either way, once this motherfucker is uh, preheated, just go ahead and pop your bacon in the oven. I'm going to set a timer for about 20 minutes and see how that comes out. Grill is preheating, bacon is in the fucking thing, 
Uh, let's go ahead and make our burger patties. Let's form them into burger patties. Alright, so for those of you who aren't working with fucking bear gloves like these, um, instead of just relying on your hands to feel how big a patty is, use about a cup. And what one cup provides is when you flatten it out, you know, decently sized, decently thick. Now it's going to cook down quite a bit because of the fat content, because that's going to kind of melt away and it's going to shrink a little bit. Just like George Costanza in the winter and the cold, you know, it's, you know there's going to be shrinkage involved. Pretty evenly distributed, nicely shaped, except for that fucking one, but we won't care about that one. Now, this is the last opportunity that we're going to have to season the raw beef, so do with it what you will. Me? I'm just going to tap that shit with a little salt and a little pepper. That's it. Sometimes you got to keep it minimalistic just to make sure that you save the integrity of what you're trying to make. Alright, let's check this out. So... Got our barbecue going. We got our little. Uh, you know, I'm gonna switch cameras. That's smoking a bit. So this is on the highest heat. We're gonna crank this up a little bit. We're gonna put our burgers over the highest heat portion. So let's go get those. This is very important. So when you put your burgers on the grill, the objective is to turn and move them as le as little as you possibly have to, because that's gonna break up the structural integrity and you increase the risk of the burger falling apart. There's already a little bit of compromised integrity with the formation of these burgers, so I'm going to try and move them as little as possible. Also got to figure out how to do this with one hand, too. Ah, you know what? We're just going to use our hands here. Right. Nice. Oh, nice. And then, we let it think about what it's done. So because the nature of grilling is cooking at a very high heat, these are not going to take that long to cook. You're going to want to actually stay out there and watch them and make sure that they're not going to burn, unlike hanging out inside and doing nothing. Another name of the game is to lift this lid as, li as little as humanly possible, but we're going to do it just to check on it and see what's going on here. Oh my god, look at that. Beautiful. Alright. I have a time to flip this. See? It's breaking up a little bit. But, we have good grill marks. Back. Woo! Getting a little spicy out of here. Last one. Nice press. We're actually going to reduce the heat just a little bit. Just because these are kind of thicker patties, so we'll make sure that they cook all the way through. Okay, I'm getting a little fucked up here. We need to finish this burger so I can get something in the system. Uh, bacon! By the time this right, is done. Take it out of the oven. Now, ladies and gentlemen, comes the uh, portion of the evening that we're all looking forward to, the cheese. Slice up some cheese to put on your burger. Slice it thick. If you have never had Black Label Tillamook Extra Sharp Cheddar in your fucking life, I pity you. Let's go put some cheeses on the meats. I totally just didn't have an entire slice of cheese. I wouldn't be... <laughs> Off, boom, off. Man, I can't do this one handed. Unless. Ah, fuck, nope. Cut up a tomato. Alright, this knife is kind of a piece of shit. We're gonna see if I can do it. <laughs> fuck you, red onion. Still gonna dice you, though. I don't know what happened to you. What? Everybody else was fine. Why did you happen? There's one more thing we need to attain out here. 
light the beacons of Gondor. Shut it down. I still don't fucking do to do. There's only one more thing we gotta worry about. Bunnage. Ooh, it's gonna be fun. We probably don't want to toast over that, so we're just gonna toast normally. Give it a second. Give it a second. Now, in the true vein of decadence, if there's really a thing that you want to do to set your burger up a notch, I don't recommend this because it's just like, once you open this door, you're never going back. Uh, when the burgers are about finished, put a little slab of butter on it and let it just like cook down into the meat. It's going to keep the meat nice and tender and soft. It's going to keep it juicy and it's also going to add, you know, butter to the mix too, so. I just had some bacon and it's really good. Tomato, onion, lettuce, cheese, which is on the burger. Uh, sauce, toasted bun, bacon, meat. Let's make a burger. And that, my friends, is a motherfucking burger. Look at that shit right there. Holy dicks. <laughs> now, this is ordinarily well I, where I take a bite on sh shot and kind of give my feedback, but I can't do that because this is massive burger. So I'm going to do that and take a, a, a... Just give me one sec. The bacon has a little bit of spice to it. The meat perfectly cooked. Oh my god, it just kind of fell apart. The cheese in a buns. Lettuce adds a nice little crispness to it. The tomato is perfectly thickly cut. Everything. Oh my god. Holy shit. This is the best burger I've ever made. Thank you. You guys you guys inspired me to make it, so thank you. Holy shit, I'm going to eat this now. Anyway, uh, so if you have any questions about the recipe, you can uh, be sure to DM me. You can uh, DM me on Twitter. You can do any anything. I don't know. This might go up on YouTube if I can remember how to download it. Either way, thank you for watching along. Hope you had a great time. For the rest of the night, just ask me whatever questions you have about the recipe. I'll be here. Fucking sayonara, friends. Burger time!